Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can reset your Wi-Fi settings and it's actually pretty easy to do. Also guys, if you need more help, you can just join the Airfix community or Kiri or you can just comment down below guys and you can also search up from here, Airfix and Kiri and if you just want to join it just for fun, you can also. So let's start off. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings. Also guys, if you please go like and subscribe, thank you so much. Now let's go to network. On network, you want to go to set up internet connection. So I'm actually going to show you some couple ways how you can do this. It's pretty easy. And if you only want to like, let's just say that you only want to reset your DNS code that you've been using. If it doesn't work well, you can always change it. And I'm going to show you how. So let's click on Wi-Fi. Now let's go to custom. And if you see on my custom right now, I have a internet connection. Let's do it again. My internet, con my Wi-Fi wasn't there. So now, finally. So let's go to IP address settings and do automatic on DHCP so host name. We do do not specify, and on DNS settings we go to manual. And like you see, guys, I have a. DNS code entered, but I will say right now guys, you cannot change this to default like this. It doesn't work like that. So like you see, it doesn't work like that. What you have to do is you want to go all the way back. And you want to select on easy. So if you are using a DNS code right now and you want to remove it, just go to easy. Select your internet connection. Also guys, you could uh, follow me at Twitter and Instagram. I will leave a link in the description down below. Now let's test our internet connection. Also guys, I want to say that you want to test your internet connection till the end. Sometimes I see people that they just cancel it and they go uh, somewhere else and they start playing their game i will say if you change something on your wi-fi connections it won't save if you don't like um test it till the end like to connection speed upload just to say guys so like you see my internet connection is pretty bad right now because uh, i'm using my 2.4 now Let's go back to Wi-Fi. Let's go to custom. And I will show you guys proof that it actually changed back. So for me, actually it works great once I use the uh, Google DNS code 8.8.8, .8 but it could happen that it doesn't work well or some other type of DNS code. So let's go to DNS and like you see guys, it's set on default. So this is actually how easy it is to set it on default. And a lot of people wonder how they can do that. And that's how easy it is. Also guys, it works on the LAN cable. It's just exactly the same as even like a bit easier because there's like a thing that you don't have to do, like selecting your Wi-Fi connection. So that's a bit even easier to do it with LAN cable. And I will also suggest you guys to use a LAN cable if you have bad internet connection. I always do it. I don't have any bad internet connection or any connection loss or something like that while playing video games. So it's pretty great to use it. And I also want to show you on our way, if you want to like reset all of your settings on network, but the only con on this one is that you will also reset your settings on like accessibility, account, uh, maybe account management, I'm not sure, logging settings or notifications, you will all reset it. So I just want to say that. So, but it won't delete any of your data, saved clips or games or anything like that. It's just the settings that reset. <coughs> so let's go all the way down. <coughs> Sorry guys. And now let's go to restore default settings. So once you do this guys, I will say right now, like you see your accessibility, everything will be uh, reset. But like I said, it won't delete any of your um, 
what's it called, any of your saved data or something like that. So let's go back and uh, this is actually how easy it is and if you wonder another way how you can do this but this is actually a hard way and a lot of people use it once they cannot enter their PS4 and that's just by um, just powering off your PS4 you want to make sure it's totally powered off you want to keep holding on the PS button until you hear two beeps also you want to connect your PS4 controller with your PS4 and then you want to select on your PS button and you want to go to restore default settings and you can also do it by just clicking on there and going to save mode. So that's also another way how you can do it. And this was the video guys. I hope you like it. Also, like I said, if you want to join the community, you can always. And please like, subscribe and take care of yourself guys. Goodbye.